The most distant human-made object is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has remarkably managed to reach interstellar space. This is a monumental achievement, considering the spacecraft was launched over four decades ago. Imagine sending a spacecraft into space 45 years ago, with the technology available at that time, and seeing it continue to explore areas far beyond what scientists originally envisioned. Voyager 1 has far exceeded its expected operational life, which had been planned for just a few years. Now, it is venturing into regions of space that were never anticipated during its initial mission planning. This astonishing feat is a testament to the enduring power of human ingenuity and exploration, showcasing the extraordinary success of a NASA mission that has redefined our understanding of space and our place within it. But what makes this mission even more fascinating is that this brave spacecraft is not only millions of miles away from Earth, but it continues to send data back to us. Even more impressively, it accomplishes this feat using technology that is older than the cassette players we used decades ago. It speaks to the robustness and foresight of the engineers who designed it. And if that weren't amazing enough, Voyager 1 recently made a discovery that has shaken the scientific community, a discovery so significant that it has captured the attention of people worldwide. What could this unprecedented find in the far reaches of space be? And what might it mean for us here on Earth, where we look up at the stars and wonder what lies beyond? There was a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration when two of the most incredible missions ever undertaken were launched, marking a new era for humanity's ventures into the cosmos. These missions were the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 probes. The brilliance behind these missions lies in the foresight of Gary Flandro, a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Flandro's genius was in mapping out a precise route that would allow the probes to travel to the distant planets of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. This route was not a simple one to plan. In fact, it required meticulous calculations, using nothing more than a pencil and the engineering tools available at the time. What Flandro discovered was nothing short of astonishing. During the late 1970s and early 1980s, the four giant gas planets would align in such a unique and rare cosmic formation that it created a sort of celestial pathway from Earth. This alignment was like a necklace, with the planets strung along a route that spacecraft could travel, using their gravitational forces to speed up the journey. The gravitational pull of each planet would act like an invisible rope, pulling the spacecraft and accelerating them through space. Normally, a journey from Earth to Neptune would take around 30 years. But thanks to this rare alignment and the gravitational assist it provided, the time was shortened to just 12 years. However, there was a catch. This perfect alignment happens only once every 176 years, making it an extremely rare opportunity. Recognizing the importance of this event, NASA acted quickly, launching two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, just 15 days apart in the summer of 1977 to take full advantage of this unique cosmic alignment. At the time of their launch, no one could have predicted that these twin explorers would go on to break every record in the history of space exploration. Today, more than 45 years later, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still operational, defying all expectations. Every day, they send back data from the very edges of our solar system, a region so distant that it seems almost unimaginable. These two spacecraft have become the farthest human-made objects ever sent into space, traveling distances that were never expected when their missions were first planned. Their initial mission was intended to last only four years, yet here they are, more than four decades later, continuing to make groundbreaking discoveries. Their journeys have provided humanity with some of the most detailed and awe-inspiring close-up images of planets and their moons, particularly around Jupiter and Saturn. These images revealed moons that were far more dynamic and active than anyone had previously thought possible. Before Voyager, we had no idea that the moons of Jupiter and Saturn had active volcanoes and vast ice fields. These discoveries forever altered our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 2, in particular, made history when it became the first spacecraft to approach Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. This spacecraft ventured into previously unexplored territory, surprising scientists with astonishing findings about these distant, icy planets and their moons. Now, more than 14 billion kilometers from Earth, these spacecraft, which are about the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, continue to defy all expectations. 
The distances they've traveled are mind-boggling. Yet they still communicate with us, expanding the boundaries of human knowledge and our understanding of the universe. The journey of the Voyager spacecrafts began with a pioneering maneuver, a gravity assist around Venus. This was the first time any spacecraft had ever attempted such a maneuver en route to another planet. It was a groundbreaking feat that helped propel the spacecraft towards Mercury and beyond. As they traveled to Jupiter, they ventured ten times the distance from Mercury to Earth, navigating through the dangerous asteroid belt, a region that had previously been explored only by the Pioneer 10 and 11 probes. But Voyager faced even greater challenges. Its onboard computers, which had just 69 kilobytes of memory, a tiny fraction of what modern smartphones have today, had to manage incredibly complex operations autonomously. These computers collected data using instruments aboard the spacecraft and stored that data on tape recorders, much like the cassette tapes people used in the 1970s. Once the data was stored, it was transmitted back to Earth using a transmitter that only used 23 watts of power, about the same as a household light bulb. Communications between the spacecraft and Earth were facilitated by large 12-foot diameter satellite dishes. However, the increasing distance from Earth created significant challenges. The spacecraft moved farther from Earth by three or four light seconds each day, which meant that signals from Voyager 2 took more than 18 hours to reach Earth. And to make matters worse, background noise from radios, televisions, cell phones, and other sources made it more and more difficult to pick up the faint signals from the distant spacecraft. Despite these enormous obstacles, the Voyager probes have continued to amaze scientists and astronomers with their unexpected discoveries, even as they venture into the vast, empty void of interstellar space. Their journeys have not only expanded our understanding of our own solar system, but they have also transformed our perception of the universe beyond. Beyond the boundaries of our solar system lies the Oort Cloud, a vast region filled with comet-like objects held in place by the sun's gravity. It is a region so far away that it stretches all the way to the nearest star. The voyagers are slowly making their way toward this distant realm, but long before they reach it, they have already made history by entering interstellar space. This milestone was achieved when the spacecraft crossed the heliopause, the boundary between our solar system and the uncharted territory of interstellar space. Initially, scientists estimated that this boundary was about 50 astronomical units from Earth, and they continued funding the mission as Voyager approached this milestone. However, when the spacecraft crossed the boundary, there was no immediate change in the environment, which left scientists puzzled. Crossing into interstellar space was supposed to be marked by a sudden increase in cosmic rays, high-energy particles that travel at nearly the speed of light, ejected by supernovae and other cosmic phenomena. But most of these cosmic rays are deflected by the heliosphere, a magnetic shield generated by the sun that protects our solar system from these external threats. The Voyager mission team had also been closely monitoring the magnetic field as the spacecraft moved into the interstellar medium, an environment filled with ionized gases and influenced by nearby stars. Scientists expected that the magnetic field in interstellar space would be oriented differently from the field generated by the heliosphere. Yet, when the spacecraft crossed into interstellar space, they detected no significant changes in the magnetic field. Then, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause, marking its official entry into interstellar space. It sent back fascinating data that confirmed an increase in plasma density, a key sign that it had entered a new region of space. However, what surprised scientists was that this crossing did not result in any noticeable change in the magnetic field. Even though they had expected to see a variation as the spacecraft moved from a region dominated by the sun's magnetic influence to one affected by the magnetic fields of other stars. This unexpected result has left scientists with more questions than answers, highlighting just how little we know about the mysteries of interstellar space. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.